What's up everybody, back again with another Kairos 101 tutorial. Uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about stingers. Now we covered transitions overall um, in a previous video, which you can go and check out. This is gonna focus mostly on uh, how wipes work, um, specifically using external sources. Uh, so you have an MOV that you wanna use as a stinger, as you would traditionally call it. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, for this, we're gonna use, uh, we're in the transitions menu um, in Kairos Creator. We're gonna utilize the user AB transitions in order to create this uh, kind of transition effect. Um, first of all, I'm gonna create a new transition and then I'm going to use this on the background layer. So I'm gonna go over to user up in the category section. AB, you can see as we discussed before, designates a specific AB transition. So we have one AB layer here. That's our background layer that I'm gonna be using uh, for this stinger effect. So what I have to do is I go to user, kind of the right click here, uh, select add new. Um, in this case, it's gonna be replay wipe, or I can go to, um, Effects, new replay wipe. So I'm gonna call this one uh, television. Uh, I have a couple of pieces of media that I've loaded up into our Cairo system, uh, which can be found in the RAM player. Um, I'm gonna use the packet transplants uh, transition here, this television. Um, and then later on, I'm gonna show you uh, this replay wipe that we have also that has uh, a, a mat associated with it as well. So first of all, let's go ahead and load up this um, television. So it's this transplants one here. I'm gonna go back to uh, our transitions. So I have this television here, and then I'm gonna edit this effect. So this allows me to choose what source I'm gonna use for this replay wipe. Uh, in this case, it's not gonna be an AB mask. It's actually gonna be a fill um, selection. So I have two items loaded up in the RAM recorder um, that have been loaded to RAM. <laughs> I'm gonna select the pack of transplants um, uh, media. And I know that it is a, a second and 16 frames long based on the length here, which is gonna be important for us later on and you'll see why. Go ahead and press okay. I uh, don't need to change any other settings here, just need to fill. I know the, the media already has a uh, alpha channel on it, so I don't necessarily need a key uh, to make this work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add that to uh, our transition, but first I actually have to add a mix effect. So kind of what we talked about before on the transition side of things, um, we can stack transitions uh, on the same layer for your scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop a mix and I'm gonna drag on top of that, uh, the television replay wipe. What, it allows us to, what, what this allows us to do is run the full television um, stinger through and then have a mix of layer A and layer B uh, on the background um, happen at the same time, which is really important because we need to have, we need to find actually the time in this effect where we see the television come full screen and then transition the background the same time. So, nice thing is I can use my fader here. Uh, I'm gonna actually put something else into program, into preview, so we can actually see uh, what's going on here. So I'm gonna go back to my scenes. I'm gonna put, um, put window in program. Let me put camera one in preview, cool. So now we have two disparate sources that I can actually see a transition occurring on. So selecting my transition here, uh, I can use the fader to see, okay, there's the point at which everything is full screen and then I can set my fade in behind. But as you can see, the whole transition is occurring, the whole fade is happening at the same time. The great thing is I can actually adjust each of these layers uh, individually from one another. So I can actually adjust the delay time in which the mix starts, the mix effect starts occurring and how long that's gonna last for. But first, I actually do need to update the duration of the whole transition. Um, to 46 frames, and I got that from one second is around 30 frames, and 16 frames additional, so 46. So 46 uh, seconds, 46 frames long, 
Uh, and then I can actually use the handles here to adjust the time uh, where that mix uh, should occur. So I can scrub through here and you can see the playhead below actually moves along with it. So I can actually find the correct in and out point for the transition, the mix transition. So there's my in point, just around there. And then the out point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it actually as short as I want because it doesn't really matter. It just needs to essentially act like a cut. So that's been said there, I'm gonna go back on the fader. I'm gonna press auto and there you go. Seamless transition between the, uh, with the singer. Press auto again, just to test it out for funsies. Looks pretty good to me. Um, now let's talk about a different kind of uh, replay wipe, which is gonna be using a mat. Um, this actually doesn't involve having to stack uh, layers and transitions. So I'm gonna create a new transition again. Um, I'm gonna go down to my AB background layer. I'm gonna go to user, right click, new replay wipe. We call this uh, hexagon, press OK. Now hexagon will have, um, actually before I go here, I have, I have to go back to my RAM recorder and um, RAM player and load up these two clips here. So shortcut for that is control L. So control L will load the mask and the, the key. So we have the key fill here and then we have uh, the wipe mat as well, so the AV mat. Um, how that plays into effect uh, when we build up the transition is going to user, hexagon, um, edit, AV mask, I'm gonna select the mask, actually, in this case, and then I'm gonna choose uh, the fill to be the, uh, the hexagon looking icon here. So those two are gonna interact with each other so that the switcher knows that yes, this is an AB mask, so that when it moves from, when that wipes across, it's gonna transition the background layer. Um, so there's no need to actually add a wipe. It's also part of the transition that you actually see a full a thing kind of wiping across um, the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into our new transition here. Um, I just need to remind myself actually how long this is. Um, just by hovering over, I can see it's four seconds long. So four seconds times 30, so 120 frames. So I'm gonna add a one to the front here, not 210 frames, it's a little bit too long. Um, great, and before I actually run the auto on this transition, I'm gonna just wipe through it. As you can see, as the hexagon is floating through the frame, camera one, which is in preview, is going to uh, wipe underneath it. This is a pretty cool little effect we have going on here. So that's another wipe there. And if I run this in real time, there you can see the four second transition with the hexagon. I believe there's also a mode where you can do a reverse or normal reverse, where you take it once, it goes forward. And then on the second time you take it, it goes the other way. So it's a little trick about how to use uh, replay wipes and stingers in an effective manner using Kairos Creator and the KC100. So stick around for more Kairos 101 tutorials.